check one two so you know I was just thinking like if and it's just a thought you know what I mean and you can think that I guess you know these people are like the thought police you know they, they struck my channel because I posted um, a clip of a video right showing the apartheid that has been you know going on in the Middle East right in the so called holy land right it, it, it's not the holy land it maybe it was and maybe it will be but currently it's not right hold on a sec alright so yeah I'm back sorry but yeah so um what was I um but yeah all I was saying they keep they, yeah they keep striking my channel you know um, about the same thing like I notice every time they strike my channel is because I post a clip of races you know you know for instance rate the races in Israel like you know doing something racist right and then they'll strike my channel like you know I, I posted a video that I'm calling black people niggers you know and saying all kinds of like crazy shit and hold on a second yeah so and so yeah so they post um they I post a video you know of them calling like Obama a nigger and you know saying white power you know these Jews screaming white power and shit in Israel uh, so they struck my channel now this wasn't me saying it this was a video of them saying it right a video of these people in the so called holy land doing this right and so you had to, and then I, I was like, man, what are they, you had to ask yourself, what are they hiding? You know what I mean? Why, if YouTube is doing this for them, obviously, you know what I'm saying? And, because everybody, make, you know, that work there ain't them and et cetera. So, but you had to ask yourself, what are they hiding? You know what I mean? Over there in this so-called holy land. They hiding something real. If they if they they hiding something extremely wicked in that place, so it ain't technically the holy land. You know what I mean? It's it it, it would be more uh, make more sense to to call it the habitation of devils. Hold on, like it says right here, right? I I, I was talking. I, I didn't want to talk. I'm I'm just gonna touch on this. I want to get to what I really want to talk about, but. Since I did quote that, I might as well say the whole thing. Revelations 18 and 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So there is no holy land on the earth right now. Right? This place has fallen right this place is the habitation of devils every foul spirit right and every unclean and hateful bird moves across the earth you see so there's no holy land now it will be it has to be purified right why let's get to that Let well since I'm, I might as well just I gotta say it all if I'm gonna say it right the, the land has to be purified it can't be holy why Numbers 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood it defiled the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. But by the blood of him that shed it. You see. So there is no holy land on the earth right now. Because you have basically um, all the land has been polluted with blood. You say well how, why is that? Well colonization, slavery, etc, etc, right? The land the land has been polluted with with blood. Two a hundred million slaves, eighty million American so called Indians. Right? And on and on, you know, hundreds of millions inside of Africa, right? Millions of Indians in, in the Americas. Tens of millions. Right? And just on and on. 
So the blood, they the, the they have the blood has defiled the land. There is no holy land on the earth. Look at all, look at it. They look at how they massacre people in the so-called holy land. Right? The blood defiled the land. Right? You know, I watched them consecrate the whole. I watched Candace Owens and the Charlie Kirk, you know, go over there to Jerusalem, you know, to this this little thing they had where they, uh, this little soiree where they were, uh, I think, inaugurating the, you know, they were going to move the, the American embassy to Jerusalem. Some bullshit. I don't know. But while they were inside squigging wine, you know, they slaughtered 64 unarmed people out outside and nobody did anything it was no outcry like Ukraine or none of that shit cause they were just Arabs right complaining Arabs so they slaughtered them outside blood defiled the land they defiled the land with blood and continued to party inside people like Candace Owens and Charlie Kirk right I'm just using that as an example not to beat up on those two, you know, um, tools, right? But, you know, that's the type of shit they do. You know, that's why I said they need to ship Candace Owens' ass back to the Caribbean. She comes to the United States and try to act like she's speaking for American blacks. You're a black immigrant. You're not speaking for American blacks. Right? They're coming here and doing a job for some Nazis. You're being doing Nazi propaganda for white people. You're not coming here to the United States speaking for American blacks. First of all, you're not an American black. You're you're from the Caribbean. You're an immigrant. So you're you're a, you're a shiesty person. You're a charlatan. You're a grifter, right? But anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. You know, and that's a problem. Well, in a way, it is, right? Because you don't want to be led. Right, like for instance, so they're trying to have Candace Owens speak like she's speaking like a black woman, right? Candace Owens is supposedly a black American woman representing black, the you know female I guess wing of the black community in the United States. There's a problem with that. Candace Owens is not from the United States. She may be black, but she's not from the United States. And I'm not a race. I'm not. A racist or misogynist for pointing that out. That's just a fact. I didn't. I didn't write her fucking birth certificate. I didn't. You know what I mean or whatever, right? I can't control where she was born. I'm just pointing it out. It's not a crime to do that. It's not a crime to point out the fact that Candace Owens is a citizen of the Caribbean who moved and fled the Caribbean and came to the United States for a so-called better life, right? You see? That's not a crime to point that out. You see? And that she doesn't descend from the black people that live in the United States. That's not her, her you know, group. Her group is like, I guess, whatever island she's from in the Caribbean. Whether it's Jamaica or whatever. That's your, that's your ethnic group. Barbados or whatever. You know what I mean? It's not a crime to say that. Right, the same way I can't go to Nigeria and speak for Nigeria. I, they may say, "Yo, you black." Okay, that, yeah, that may be true. That doesn't give me the right to go to Nigeria and then say I speak for all Nigerians. That doesn't give me the right. You can say, "Well, you black." Okay, well, I can't go to fucking Jamaica and say I represent Jamaicans. I'm not Jamaica. I'm not from Jamaica. I'm black, but I ain't from Jamaica. Right. I can't just go find a, a, some brown skinned people and then start saying, listen, listen, listen up, listen up. I'm, I'm here, I'm speaking for you. I'm representing them. But I can't go to, it's brown skinned people in India. I'm not Hindu. I'm not an Indian. Just as I'm brown skinned, maybe I could go over there and slide up in there if I could do some fake Indian accent or whatever and speak Hindu. But I'm not, I could, you know, I can't just go there and be like, yeah, I'm, I kind of got brown skin. So yeah, I speak for these Indians. Let me tell you about India. Let me tell you about these. Let me tell you about whatever, right? The people would look at me sideways and be like, who is this guy? 
I can't do an Indian accent, but you know what I mean? They'd be like, who the fuck is this guy? Who's this clown? But every but people like Candace Owens and Barack Obama and Kamala Harris can come to the United States and pull that shit with American black people. Their descendants didn't invent jazz or rap music or blues or R and B or rock and roll or pop. You see? So they they may be so called brown skinned people, but they're not from here. We're not from the same group. That's not a that's not racist, that's just a fact. I can't go to Ethiopia and start speaking for Ethiopians. I'm not fucking Ethiopian just because I'm brown. I got brown skin. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about Ethiopia. I didn't. I've never lived there, and my ancestors never lived there. And even if they did, let's just say it was hundreds of years ago, right? I can't just pop up now and say, "Hey, listen, I speak for Ethiopians." But Candace Owens and Barack Obama and, and Kamala Harris. And Nigerians and people, you know, anybody with some little bit of brown in their skin can come to the United States and then all of a sudden they speak for black people. And nobody bats an eye. Like they could have, like, yo, you just got here. How is that possible? You just got here five years ago. How the fuck is, is it possible you speak for me? None of your, none of your parents lived under, none of your family lived under Jim Crow. How the fuck is it possible that you speak and represent me? Not only that, the shit that you're saying is not is 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 horrible and wicked, right? But and and so I want to make another point. I ain't gonna make this too long, right? So it's the same way. Like, how is it that these these people come in and all of a sudden they represent you? And I and I just want to make a point, right? I'm, I'm using another example. Let, let's just say Martin Luther King, right, or Malcolm X. Right. Let's say Martin Luther Malcolm. I mean, just just look at it from different angles, right? Let's just say they was they was trannies. Would you want them to represent you? If they, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like anybody can represent you. Just anybody can come along, no matter what type of shit going on with them. They automatically speak for you. They your leadership, right? They got street cred or whatever. They got brown, maybe a little melanin, a little brown in their skin. So they automatically get peak when they speak for you. Doesn't matter what type of shit that doesn't matter their background. What if, what if Martin Luther King and Malcolm X was trannies? They, would you want them to speak? If you was like a black man in America, right? Because both of these men technically are considered black men in America, black Americans, foundational black Americans, American descendants of slaves, right? And so, you know, if they was like, you know, I don't know, Caribbean trannies or Nigerian trannies, would you want them, would you feel the same way about them representing you? Probably not. You know what I mean? So everybody does not speak for you. You can't you can't just say everybody speaks for you. Everybody's your leader. Everybody can be your president. Right? Everybody's your friend. Everybody's your ally. Anybody? So if Martin Luther King just tried it up or Malcolm X and they was like a tranny. And you say, okay. They rep, they like the male, the the archetype for male black leadership, and they're gonna lead some type of rights group to try to get it, make a justice claim, you know, and a protection claim for their particular group in America. That's what you would you would do you find that credible? What? Right? Maybe they maybe they from Nigeria. They just you know they've been in the country five years, and then let's say I don't know they also a tranny, <laughs> right? They're a transformer. They're a Nigerian transformer. And they say, well, hey, listen, they show up in your neighborhood and they tell you they come into the church and they want to have a a, a rally because of the, you know, the injustice that has been occurring in the community against the community by, I don't know, white people or something. 
Chinese people, Hispanic people, Mexicans, firebombing your homes or something, you know, something going on. And then they show up and and, and they like a, 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 I don't know, an immigrant tranny. <laughs> They've been in the country for like 10, 15 years. Fuck it, 20, 30 years. I don't know. Maybe they're 30 years old. Their parents brought them in, you know, came in and they had them. So they've been in the country 30 years. Their parents were maybe here two, three, four, five years before they had them. So they just got here. So you, and then and they also a tranny. So you got like this Nigerian immigrant tranny, right? You know, we used to be a woman. Now a man, used to be a man, but now a woman wants to tell you about life. The situations help you, and 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 he knows what's, what's going on with you and your people, and he he's gonna help you. Follow me, right? We're gonna march on, you know, for justice. Hold on, let me go put my dress on, <laughs> and my lipstick, and my wig. I'll be right back. Or he was leading the movement as a man, then he came back. He cut his, you know, his penis off and got a dress on and a wig. Now, you know, he was Martin Luther King. Now he's Marsha King. You know, from Nigeria. <laughs> right now, now this motherfucker, I'm in charge. I'm leading y'all. I wouldn't follow this motherfucker across the street. You couldn't lead me across the street. You know what I mean? It's too much going on. I ain't with that. You see? You couldn't leave me across the street. Right? I mean, it's just a lot of weird shit that go on in America. From a lot of different angles. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you see people like Candace Owens. She show up. She speak for black women in America. And you think about it like, okay, let's break that down. Is she a woman? Yeah, I guess. Is she is she so called black? Yeah, I guess. Is she from America? No. Is she is she's an American descendant of slavery? No. She's a Caribbean descendant of slavery. That's two different things. Right? Right. So you have all kinds of intersectionality going on. And then you wonder why you can't get no traction. Right? A lot of confusion. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I refuse, you know, like, I would refuse to be led by, like, Martin Luther King if he was, like, an Ethiopian transsexual. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it just wouldn't make sense to me. You know what I mean? Like, you'd be like, yo, come to a meeting. We're going to discuss shit in the community. I'd be like, I would never go anywhere near the place. It would just seem off to me. You know what I mean? On many different levels. Because we had to, you know what I'm saying? You had to be, they said, don't discriminate. No, you have to discriminate and make a distinction. It's called making choices in life. Because those choices, in the end, are going to yield a, a negative or positive result. Right? So if I coalesce with this, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? And, and, and I'm not, you know, to be like, oh, you hate hating. I'm not hating. I'm just, everybody has a right to make a choice. Right? And those choices could have constructive or unconstructive results. If I feel like that's not constructive for me to hang out with no, you know, like, I don't know, you know, Mexican transsexual as the leader of, you know, uh, you know to take cues from about you know a social movement or just being a man you know what I mean like maybe you start talking and about you know shit and about life and different things and I'm like well first of all you like you talking to me about you know you talking to me about let's say a black being a black man and my experience in this in the United States and helping me and, and, and at a certain level then I'm like well I had looking at you and I'm saying, well, you're not a man. You're a woman as, you know, you may, you mean, you're a man. You mean, you're a man. Well, I guess you was a man. You dressed like a woman. Or you're a woman that's dressed like a man now. 
So how do you understand? You said, well, I, you understand me. You know, whatever. You discuss the issues about, you know, a, from a male perspective and then a black male perspective, you know, or a descendant of slavery. You know what I'm saying? And then a man. You know what I mean? So there's so many different angles. And you're saying, yeah, I don't think you're somebody that, you know what I mean? Like, we're not cut from the same cloth. You see? Your agenda and my agenda actually is probably different. You see, I would never take my cues, you know, and live under a rainbow flag. Or a racist flag, you know, just, you know, um, ignorantly. You know, it's one thing to do it, it's another thing to ignorantly do it. You see? Sometimes you gotta go along and get along, but you don't have to be ignorant of the facts of, you know, the situation. You see? That's all I'm saying. You know, and, you know, it says in the Bible, God is not the author of, conf author of confusion. And I'm going to end on that. Right? Let's, let me pull it up real quick. Yeah, so it says in Corinthians, right? Corinthians 14 and 33, right? For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the, of the saints. You see, God is not the author of confusion in all the churches. So if somebody told me to come to the church to speak the, you know, the head of a, you know, the NAACP or the Urban League or whatever, right? And it was like a, you know, on some issues affecting my community. So, you know what I mean? With like my grandmother, my grandfather. My aunts, my uncles, my cousins, my father, my mother, my children, right? Or whatever, right? Having to do with anything related to that, me as a person, just in general, any of the social dynamics, you know, but it's partic particularly my particular group. And then I was to go there, and then there's a man dressed like a woman, you know, who's from... Uh, 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 I don't know, Morocco, some fucking where, you know, Ethiopia, Nigeria, the Caribbean, uh, somewhere, I don't know, right? It would be kind of confusing. It seems like that would be confusing, right? It seems like a lot of confusion that goes on. And so then you have to ask yourself, right, what's this about? How, how could... You know what I mean? How does this does this make sense? You know, uh, am, am I gonna like as a as a let's say I'm a you know everybody's an individual as an individual person as a black man. You know who is it? You know comes from a particular group, knows you know you know who and what you are. It's like a tiger is a tiger, a lion is a lion, whatever, right? It's not racism. It's not a problem. And then I'm sitting here and I'm listening and trying to got this person that's not you know trying to get me to it's like a kangaroo trying to take cues from a uh, from a lion or something right it's just different you see it just it starts it's just confusing it's confusion and then you you know I me mean, at the end of the day you wonder why you can't really get any traction and you can't get anywhere as a group, you know what I mean, particularly in this in this case, I'm talking about black people, you know. And then I had I had a, I had somebody tell me the other day, well, you got to go with the uh, what did he say? I'm gonna say this number go. You got to go with the uh, lesser of two evils. Really, really, that's interesting. So you have to go with the lesser of the two evils, and I said, no, 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 no. I've been down that road. You know what I'm saying? Where they be like, yo, you got to go with the lesser of two evils. Trust me, that is a dark, dark, dark path. And I'm going to tell anybody that. And you may not make it back from there. You see? That is an extremely dark path. When you start telling yourself shit like, I got to choose the lesser of two evils. 
that's a dark place that that starts to become a dark sunken place and then for people like you look at people they say well I'm Christian where in the Bible did it say that God I'm sorry not God but where is it in the Bible does it say that uh, the individual known, known as uh, uh, labeled as Jesus Christ that he made a deal with the devil where is that written at I never I never saw that so y'all teaching people you hypocrite you teaching people to make deals with the antichrist you see to capitulate and make a deal with the antichrist where is that and then you say I'm a Christian well that's not in the bible where in the bible does it say you should make a deal with Satan himself you should choose evil he said well I didn't choose evil I chose a lesser to evil. I didn't choose Satan. I chose a guy that works for him. Oh. Oh. Well. I guess that's better. <laughs> I guess that'll be better. It'll work out better for you. Right? You see, I, I chose a lesser of two evils. I didn't choose Satan, the Antichrist himself. I chose somebody that works for him. That does his dirty work. doesn't that doesn't make sense and that's not a Christian I mean I'm just FYI I'm not preaching to people telling you what to do I'm just pointing out shit right as a, using it you know as a marker so, and as an example right but that's not that's not Christian so where you where are you learning this thing where are you learning this kind of of uh, this kind of thing right because it's not profitable you see it's confusion right and God is not the author of confusion right it's total confusion right sorry it's Corinthians right God is not the author of confusion but it's but of peace as in all the churches of the saints you see God the Messiah nobody that's really a Christian would ever teach you to make a deal with Satan I mean, it seems like nobody would have to tell you that, though. Like, you'd be like, yo, I got tricked. <laughs> you know, be like, like, Roger the Alien on, on American Dad. Like, this motherfucker got the worst disguise in the world. How are you getting tricked by him? It's clear that he's an alien. <laughs> this nigga. Right? He's like an alien with, like, a wig on. What do you mean you got tricked by him? That's the worst disguise I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> right? I, I don't I don't understand this. But I'ma go. But yeah, it's there is no I'm gonna end on that though. People gotta understand, right? Like there's a lot of confusion. Don't get caught up in it, you know. And and what he said, what what people say, you gotta you got to ask you got to be careful about what people say when they tell you you got to make the choice of the the lesser of two evil listen right there is no such thing as a lesser of two evil that's just evil right and now is the time for you to figure that out right that's why everything's so fucked up really if you say you want, I mean, if you had could change one concept in the world, if you change that, you could fix. Like, how do we fix the world? Well, that's just extremely easy. The secrets of the universe is so simple, right? If if you could snap your fingers and get everybody to say, "I will no longer choose the lesser of two evils," you would see the condition on the world change exponentially overnight. They're not going to do that. Right? People are too far gone, too corrupted. They believe in, you know, in compromising with the Antichrist. They believe in making a deal with Satan. They believe in making deals with the devil. I don't know who taught them that. But, and, 
they don't know how to make distinctions. They're being taught not to make distinctions between good and evil. You see? So, but anyway, I ain't gonna make this too long. It was just, you know, I think it's just interesting. Somebody made that point, you know, like who represents you? Can anybody represent you? Can anybody speak for you and your community? You know, I saw somebody talking about that, you know, on a little vlog or whatever. And I just thought it was interesting, you know. So, yeah, but you got to make a choice. Anybody know, anybody can't just speak for you or lead you, shouldn't be able to lead you, right? You know. And you definitely don't want to make, you know, it's not profitable to make deals with, with, the, uh, with the Antichrist. But that's all I got.